Happy Pancake Day. I'm going to share with you now the two things that I'm going to do for Lent this year and the reasons why, but also kind of linked into that, how um, give you some tips on how you can make more sort of sustainable healthy changes in your life as well. Uh, so before I do that, I think it's important to point out that there are broadly two different types of personalities when it comes to trying to make changes and do sort of healthier things. There's abstainers and moderators. So I'm very much a moderator in that I can just cut things down, um, like say have a little piece of chocolate without having to have the whole box, um, rather than um, having to cut everything out. So that's what an abstainer would have to do, they'd have to cut everything out because they can't trust themselves just to have a little bit without then going on to eat the whole box um, or the whole packet. Um, so uh, this is what works for me as a moderator. If you are the sort of person who I'd say is an abstainer who um, literally can't um, cut down and, and, and moderate what they eat, then you might want to have a different approach. Um, so uh, in the past, I have tried going down the route of being an abstainer uh, during Lent. So for example, cutting out all chocolate or cutting out all caffeine. And effectively, I've just been miserable as a, as a result of doing it and resented doing it. And I've got to the end of Lent and it hasn't encouraged a, a more permanent change in me because I, or I've just effectively gone the other way and not necessarily binged, but, but just thought, oh, sod that. <laughs> I'm having chocolate again now. I'm having caffeine and um, possibly being less disciplined than I would have been had I not given it up. So I don't know if you can relate to that at all. Um, so now, when it comes to Lent, um, I go the uh, moderator route, which I'll come to back to that a bit later. Uh, so just because um, I resented making a healthy change doesn't mean that you sh I should give up altogether on trying to make the change. Because I do think, like, it's not a given that you're a healthy person. And you often have to, like, well, face up to a lot of, um, or resist a lot of temptations that, that are surrounding us. And it does take discipline. And again, that's not a given. But it is something that can be built and that can be developed through practice and through constantly tweaking things. Um, and so, oh yeah, I think that's important to recognise that you shouldn't sort of just look at people and think other people and think oh they're healthy that's easy for them you know it's uh, it's difficult for everybody so and it's up to you to make the small tweaks and make the decisions and, and plan so that that you can uh, implement uh, changes gradually and and just keeping on top of those changes okay so uh that's the intro over now to how what i'm going to do for lent and why um two things first of all is the sort of the um changes i'm going to make to reduce bad things that i do um and i quite often get through at least one of these a day especially in the winter uh it's very easy um just to have a little bit after each meal and then little snacks and um, before you know it I've lost track of how much I've eaten in the day. So I am now going to uh, limit myself to half of one of these a day. And the, oh, uh, so that's one thing. And then the other thing is just to have only one caffeinated drink a day. Um, yeah, so too much caffeine, you can get addicted. It's quite acidic. Um, and I just don't like to become dependent on things, basically. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So the ways I'm going to help myself to do this, which is quite important when it comes to the planning, is I'm going to crowd out the bad with good. So I'm going to have sort of uh, alternatives that are a bit healthier to chocolate that I can snack on. Um, you know, maybe sort of a bit of banana oat cake. Um, or I'll have a bit of chocolate, but not just chocolate by itself. So if with maybe a few like almonds or something, and then it kind of makes you feel like you're having more chocolate than what you're actually having. Uh, and likewise for the caffeinated drinks, um, just making sure I've got in lots of really nice herbal teas because there's some not quite so nice ones out there um, that I'm going to enjoy drinking um, and so I won't, I won't miss my cup as quite as much. 
Um, so that's uh, just doing things differently. So differently, not depriving yourself. And it's possible to do that across the board with all types of food. Um, and the second thing is having an if then sentence in place. So where a lot of people go wrong when they're trying to make a healthy change, which is difficult, is they might suddenly give in, uh, go off the rails, and then instead of getting back on track, they just think, oh, sod it, there's no point, I can't do it, I'm useless, I've failed. Um, whereas if you take the time to almost plan for those situations when that might arise, I'm not saying it will do, but with a, as I say, with an if-then sentence, it can just plug any uh, possible, like, going off track. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> if that makes sense. Or plug in any damage that, that you, you might have done or might be about to do. Uh, now, that might be, for example, with the chocolate. If I have more than half a bar, then the next day I will have less. Um, it might be if uh, you've given something up, like if I have more than half a bottle of wine, um, then I will uh, do some exercise and then define what that exercise is. Um, you know, so it's uh, it, it's just sort of, yeah, having that safety net there. Um, and then it, it just gives you a little bit of a get out clause if you have a moment of weakness and still makes you feel like you've got a sense of discipline because you um, you are implementing something to damage uh, to limit the damage. So if then sentences and I did I went to like um, a talk once um, one of the like off the shelf talks in Sheffield that were really uh, interesting and they said that that was one of the key things when it came to goal setting which determined um, long term success which is taking the time to have an if then sentence. Uh, so number one thing, um, reducing the bad that I'm doing and tweaking. Um, and the next thing is to actually think about doing something good instead, um, which is going to help and benefit you. And for me, um, I'm going to make sure every morning I go outside. Now, ideally, that will be to do a little run um, or maybe to go to my allotment and do a bit of work. Um, but I accept that on certain days, like especially with the weather we've been having recently, that's probably not going to be possible. Um, but what it's going to hopefully help me to do is just to make sure that I get up and I get changed and get a bit of fresh air and it's just going to revive me uh, and give me a bit of um, mental strength as well going out into the elements. Um, and hopefully maybe do a bit of exercise um, but it's just going to be a more positive start to my day um, so with the nature of my job obviously I'm like self-employed got my own business and a lot of my work isn't until the evening time so it can um, lend me to having uh, I, well, it's never lazy I'm always doing work trust me in the day but uh, you know just wearing my pajamas for a bit longer than I ought to um, or just being a little bit sluggish in the morning so um, that's how now, uh, that's a good thing that I pl I'm pledging to do for 40 days, <laughs> not really 40 nights because it's only going to be in the morning, so I will, I will do that. Uh, yes, I will. And then my if then sentence for that might be if I don't do it one day, then I'll go out for double the amount of time the next day, something like that. You get the picture. Um, right, okay, well, good luck with any healthy changes you decide to make for Lent and also in making them more sustainable. Uh, for the rest of your life so that it becomes part of who you are and you believe that you have the discipline or no you do have the discipline because you've built it through um, being a bit more um, strategic and uh, in the way that you go about it uh, and in planning for those positive changes okay all the best take care bye bye